Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. New session of gameplay starting right now. As you guys can see, there is nothing left to do except this next story mission, which is over in Blackwater. And I get the feeling the cops will all be after my ass. So I guess that's what we're going to do. And then after that, we see what unlocks because there's nothing else to do on the map right now. Here we go. All right. We are off. Yo! The return to Blackwater. I don't know how wise this is. Considering they had some kind of a botched robbery job. The fuck made that noise? <laughs> ah, yes. Right into the nice, beautiful graphics of the game. Pretty much one of the most cinematic games I think I've ever had experienced in my life. Crazy Dream just gifted a tier 1 sub to Tutankhamen. Well, I'm pretty sure Tutankhamen could have gotten his own sub if he really wanted it, but I thank you Crazy Dream for the support. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Lee Wanner says from a, viewing, a viewer's point of view, this game is very relaxing to look at. Yeah, it's very immersive, right? It feels like you're watching a, a western movie. Definitely, with the realism of the graphics and the random encounters that you see on the sh on the roads and everything, like this one. Hold up. Yeah, they're way too low down there for me to interact with. All right, continue on. All right, we are off. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to ford the river crossing. And then I believe we're going to be in Blackwater, so this could be a, uh, a, a bad idea. Whoa, the, the sky is pink. How cool is that? $85 bounty on my head here. Oh, shit. God damn. Do I have a favorite Western movie? Not really. I've never watched a lot of Westerns, so I don't really have a favorite Western movie. I the other day I answered the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's one of the few that I've actually seen. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think. I saw... I'm trying to think. There were a few in the 90s that were very popular, and I saw those. Tombstone. Tombstone's a good movie. I saw that one. Um, God, I can't remember the other one. True Grit. I did see True Grit. Once I saw it. Starring Thanos. Unforgiven? Yeah, I've seen Unforgiven. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. Oh, it's going to autosave. Okay, yes. Autosave. Yeah. Huh, what's your favorite Eastern movie? Super Saiyan is his Seven Samurai. Uh, Shaolin Soccer. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Shaolin Soccer is a really good movie. It's funny as hell. And it had great visual effects for the time. Now they're kind of outdated. But I'm wanted dead or alive here. This might not be a good idea. All right, I'm going to go over here, right? Yep. So Javier's up here. What the hell does he want? Shit, I got in front of way up this hill. The horse ain't going to make it. If I go slow, the horse will make it. There we go. I'm going to take my time. Okay, what the hell's Javier yeah. doing over here? How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Hey. Hey. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. 
Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah, pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, they Damn. Got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, nah. we'll tell him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. Cool. Shout out to Crazy Dream who took me $40. Thank you, you know, very much, Crazy Dream, for that generous tip. Or people whom the government like seem to be very angry. <laughs> sure. Well... We'll rescue Sean, and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. And shout out to Ren Jesse James, who resubbed to the channel for the 16th month in a row and said, Down since day one-ish. Gotcha, oos. Find the boot. Oh, I can't read. Find the boat. It says find the boat. It says find the boot. I'm an idiot. if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open. No, it's it's a boot, Arthur. But boot. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen, follow me. All right, switch to cinematic Keep your camera. Hands away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. What the hell? It's you not working. Can see us? Oh, there we go. If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What is it? Did you stop for a reason? Yeah, I stopped holding forward. I guess you have to hold what forward during cinematic New camera. York? You know how life is. Another straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. Uh. The longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. I ran right into his ass. <laughs> Cinematic camera, you run right into his ass. Right face first. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. The cinematic camera's interesting, but I don't know if it really adds anything. I'm, I'm used to playing from that pers third person perspective. It's kind of cool. You can see like a better viewpoint of certain, you know, areas. Mm. Ren Jesse James is curious at which, which, if either, upsets you more: lack of punctuation or piss poor spelling and wrong words. Hey, they've pulled into shore. Spelling and wrong Get words. Your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing. Playing with here. I just fed my horse. <laughs> He's still not doing it. There we go. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, Built some reputation in the last year or two. 
That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Okay. I don't know if I like the voice acting of this, this supposed Yiddish English guy or whatever. It seems too over the top. Like he's trying too hard to sound strong English. The fuck? What the? It was stuck. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll Wait a minute, can't I dual wield now? Go right? And create a distraction. Then you two I don't know how, though. They never really explained it. On them. Okay. Crouch down. Take out your knife. Stay here. There we go. I just did it. Okay, Alright, don't want me to... Move down. Yeah, use my knife. Don't cross until he's got their attention. So I can dual wield now. Colt 45 and good vibes. Just did 100 bit cheering. Said, Phil, happy Sunday. How are you liking the game? I am liking it a lot so far. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take the one on the left. All right. Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Dumb asses. Okay. Let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. Duh. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon. Deal with. There they are. They lean all those boots you got there, eh? Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Mm. Come on, focus. Oh. Yeah, that was sick. Horse. Shit. 
I helped him. I helped out, uh, what's his name, Charles? I'm gonna fucking go up there and, oh shit, I thought another one was come out, coming out here. Oh, uh, I wanted to freaking go up and circle around, but I guess they're all, I gotta go back here. Quick, come on, let's get up there. That's what I was doing. Watch out for these two. Uh, oh, hello. Boy, they weren't very fucking smart. They ran right up to me and got shook the fucking asses blown off. Dumbasses. Hey, there's no rush. Let's loot these bodies. Okay. Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. Two <laughs> camps up this way. Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down. God damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. No. Ah. Still time. Tower? Oh, he's right. Nice. There's one in the cabin. I saw bullets coming out of it. Nice. Good shit. Okay. Let's get Sean. They ran. Hey, someone cut this rope. Me head's killing me. Nothing to loot here now. You would think there'd be like chests and stuff. Quick, I don't see anything. Before any more show up. Hey, what are y'all doing? Arthur. <laughs> of course he's Irish. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Uh, do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get <laughs> out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. <laughs> right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Oh boy. A tomahawk. Can I loot these places here? Can I get inside this cabin here? Mission complete. No, it's all holed up. All blocked up. Nothing to loot here besides these dead guys, I guess. Loot their bodies. A ring. Okay, loot them all. Up oh, the game volume. The game volume is almost maxed. I'm not even kidding. Here, now the game volume is completely maxed. There's nothing I can do. That's the, the highest it goes. 
Yeah, I have no idea why this game's volume is so low. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> oh shit, the law's coming. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, what the fuck? Uh... Oh my god. Well, at least I killed them all, but it sucks I fucking tried to make an escape and basically completely botched it. So much for the bounty hunters. Crackers. Ugh. Thank goodness for Dead Eye. Derek, just curious. I want your honest thoughts on the big show and the bar on SmackDown Live. I guess they're mimicking Strowman, Ziggler, and McIntyre. Meh. That's all I have to say. Meh. I mean, big show. Meh. Kind of hard to get excited about big show at this point. All right, so where am I headed now? Oh, what the hell is this? There's a new random mission over here. I guess I'll check it out, and then we gotta go back to camp. All right, let's see what this is. What is this? Photographer? This will show the boys at the Geographical Society. Morning, dear. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators Kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. <laughs> oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go oh, my heavens. God. Don't worry. A friggin' the wolf a robbed him. Sneaky one. Oh, too. the coyote. Wildlife photography. There he goes. The bag. Yeah. <laughs> you did drop it. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Certain animals like coyotes and stuff would do that shit too. They just randomly steal shit. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. All right, Black Mage C-Type just did a 50-bit cheer. That makes him cheerleader for today. Actually, I take it back. It was actually Colt 45 was the cheerleader. I got to update that. I forgot to. Because I know you're playing Red Dead Redemption 2 now, but I'm excited because it looks like the new 
buttery jack talking about the nightmare king burger i'm gonna try burger king today seriously there's one diabolical diabolical looking crabby patty you should do a follow up on any nightmares that you have after consuming it well well got your bag oh good good please come here okay oh thank you thank you sir bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. So. I guess it's my up, up, uh, unlock side missions later. Jesus. I'm guessing. Fun to attract any wildlife. Uh. Need some privacy. Maybe. All right, Buttercup. Where's Buttercup? Wait a minute. Neither of these horses are Buttercup. No, they're not. Buttercup has a freaking mohawk. Let's get here. <laughs> this is okay, boy. Buttercup. This isn't Buttercup. What the hell? Huh? It's a Tennessee Walker. What the hell happened to Buttercup? <laughs> Buttercup is missing. I don't know what happened. That's weird. Anyway, I guess we're going back to camp to continue on with the story. I don't know what's going on. Where'd Buttercup go? Weird. All right, so Crazy Dream Cheers said, "Did your character have a bath yet?" Nope. Nice and stinky. Photography is not that interesting. To yeah, I don't know what the hell happened to my horse. I got some generic Tennessee Walker. I don't want this. I want a Buttercup bag. It's bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Oh, my horse better come back after all the time I spent with it trying to friggin' domesticate it and build a bond with it. I better get it back. I don't know what happened. Yeah, exactly. I started the mission without him when I booted today to, to continue my playthrough. He wasn't there. I swear I had him yesterday. Yeah. I don't know. to an area I haven't been in yet. Oh, there's a question mark. There's another new thing here. What's this? How do I get up there to trigger this one? I don't know. Guy. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. <laughs> there has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. Sure. I have had many women. My I name is Amigo Montoya. I hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But... Tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well, 
Good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Yeah, Unfortunately, me. I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... Oh, yeah. Ten dollars. Yeah, right. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. I don't even think I have ten dollars. Mm -mm. I could just rob him. Well, I'm interested in the map, but not so interested in the haggle. Why don't you just hand it over instead? <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> you are funny. Oh no! Listen, <laughs> give me the map. I'm done asking. Oh, no, oh my! Here, take it. Just let me be. What an asshole! Why would I spend ten dollars on that shit? Get the fuck out of here! Owned. <laughs> Why the fuck would I pay for that? I'm a cowboy. I'd be a moron to pay him. Okay then. So yeah, it's just a Tennessee Walker. My buttercup horse is missing. You tell me where it went. I didn't. I, my horse didn't get killed or nothing. So. All right. Well, let's continue on. I want to continue with the story. Not in particular feeling like a treasure hunt right now. Okay, now what? Another one? Another one! I'm running into a ridiculous amount of stuff here. Do you smoke, sir? Who is this guy? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette, cigarette cards. cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day. Just <laughs> when you keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Yeah, oh. life reaffirming. And the amount of money? <laughs> a veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Randall at your service. Yeah, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Man, I gotta start smoking cigarettes immediately to get cigarette cards. Let's do it. Let's smoke. Where are my cigarettes? I know I have them. No, I guess I don't have any cigarettes with me. Seriously? Oh, here we go. Smoke some cigarettes! Yeah! This game immediately convinced
convince me to smoke. What's up, boy? What do you want? You want a nice little pat? Good dog. There you go, boy. Good dog. All right. Master Saru took me a dollar. He says, after giving me my first ever sub, I'm sending you a dollar to complete my day of giving. I'll be checking this game out later when I have more money and bigger hard drive for my PS4. I never thought about upgrading your hard drive for your PS4. Well, I was thinking about it, but then someone gifted me a PS4 Pro in August, so I don't need to anymore because I have a pretty empty hard drive. So, there you go. And Baby Man Gaming just cheered. He said, how's it going, pal? Get those six, boy. And I did. I just smoked. See, Red Dead Redemption uh, convinced me to smoke. Now I'm going to become a smoker to collect those cigarette cards. There you go. I'm just going to have to start smoking constantly to get cigarette cards. And then I'm going to blame Rockstar when I get lung cancer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <clears throat> Moonwalkman just cheered. He said, Phil, I wish I could attend longer today, but I am meeting with some friends. Uh... Now, come on, smoke 10 cigarettes at once. See you later. See you later, Moonwalkman. Thanks for stopping by. The Small child sues Rockstar Games, says Red Dead Redemption 2 convinced him to smoke cigarettes in real life and gave him lung cancer. Yeah. And this is why you should not let kids play these kind of games, folks. Although, undoubtedly... Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of children will be playing this this year, which they shouldn't be. So I don't know where the hell Buttercup is. My Buttercup is completely missing. I don't know where to get him. Maybe I gotta go back to a stable in a town or something? I don't know. But anyway. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say... Oh, Sean's oh, no, back to celebrating. Missed me. Uh. Even you, Arthur. Even you. Uh. Here we go. Oh. No speeches, please. Oh, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Do you oh, seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. And don't you worry Tonight. Let's home. enjoy ourselves. Well, Are we having a party? If Maybe. Just a little one. Uh. Great. It's time for the party segment. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. They won't let me contribute to the camp right now. I'm assuming I need to sleep, and then maybe something will happen. So, yeah, see, they're unavailable for act other activities for a while, but you could drink. Yeah, look, you could drink at various places. You get a drink. Take a bottle, a whiskey bottle. Cody Carlstrom, he said, how could anyone even afford 200 cigarettes a day back then? That's a bit absurd. As you saw, the guy looked, uh, he looked uh, like an ex a rich, eccentric guy. And let's face it, who else would have that kind of crazy disposable income in the Wild West to be collecting fucking cigarette cards? Some rich asshole. so much you moved to a different town to escape them. How's he laughing at? <laughs> you okay, Jose? Well done, Arthur. You know, I wasn't just me. Fellas would spend all night talking about what they were gonna do the second they left the army. All, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a cook. Or, this is cool. He's doing groups and they're all doing different wife. stuff and having different conversations. Hell, so like, you got your buddy back? <laughs> I'm gonna go and... Dance Wasn't the, the same without in San Francisco. Nope. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. <laughs> oh. They're drunk and singing over here. Well, we got him. You did very well. <laughs> now we're stuck with him. Now we're stuck with him. <laughs> and we diddle, diddle, did. 
too. <laughs> oh my God! Have some more, some more whiskey. But how about something a little more civilized? Will you dance with me, Arthur? Dance with me? Except. Of course, Dutch. Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. You dance, there's no music. Oh wait, there's some music. They turned on the music. Do a flare. Some flare. Dance with flare. Say Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Look at what you think of me. <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> more flare, I'll do more flare. With flare! <laughs> Spin around, baby! Yeah! Dance with flare! La la la! La 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 la! Ya da da da! Ya ba ba da ba ba! Ha ya ma ya na ha ya na ma na ba ba da ba da ba! Yes! <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Dutch. Well, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. What a dance. Ja, he's dipping his lady. <laughs> Remember my drink? My drink disappeared. <laughs> and somebody adding meat did a hundred bit cheer thing with somebody adding meat. That makes you the top cheerer, by the way. Feels like eight and Big Man Gaming says, do you smoke a fat one before bed? No, I do not. Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Forever. There we go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What do you want? Yeah! I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Ha <laughs> He's oh. drunk as fuck! This is what he wants. This keeps happening. He's so drunk he doesn't even know what is going on. You get another drink. No baby man gave me I do not roll up a blunt before bed. I do not smoke. I mean it. There we go. Beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. Cody Cross is the Reverend always drunk so far. Pretty much. Damn, drink all that whiskey. A beer. Take a beer now. Remember, beer before li liquor never been sicker. So you gotta drink your beer after your liquor. Free a wild song singing and softly murmuring flows the stream. Come on. Pretty cool. It really is. It's pretty cool how awesome this is, man. It's very realistic. They're all doing different stuff. I sing a merry song. I wag my world, I wander over. Oh, with a light, light heart, I roll along. Oh, with a light, light heart, I roll along. The good earth loves a wild free rover for a roving bird. Shug! Finished it. He sings to please the dear old mother, and she I. No, baby, baby, me, I don't wear chunklas. What the? I sing a merry song. Baby Man Gaming seriously cheers and it says the weirdest shit. Do you wear chunk clothes? Or do you wear slippers with socks? What? The fuck does that have to do with anything? Oh my god. But yeah, it like, seems like this make the game feel immersive and vibrant and real, you know? <clears throat> Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. John Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. 
Just when the drinks come out. Huh. <laughs> All right, well, I should be getting on. Uh-huh. What was I doing? Huh. <laughs> he doesn't remember. Well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. Okay, speak later. Sure, Morgan. Guess that's it for now. LaFerra, cheers. Are you trying the Nightmare Burger? Yes, I am. And Cody Carls, cheers. And the personalities in the game are awesome. I agree. <clears throat> Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an O'Driscoll. <laughs> oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. Oh, another beer? Take another beer. He's got a good tolerance. He had two bottles of whiskey and he's on his second beer now. And he's not woozy or anything. The party all night. That nauseating Poppin' J in that frontier town. Of course. We're old men, Arthur. Let us live in our memories. <laughs> Whatever you say, Dutch. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> what are these girls laughing at over here? No, I do not listen to Bass Hunter or Bass Hunter, baby, baby, baby. Parisian chorus. I'm fine. I'm feeling a little, you know. <laughs> I just wanted a boa. <laughs> A fancy boy I could dance with. That's all I want. If I had a boy, I'd be a happy woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd, I'd finally be a lady. <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a late one, Miss Gaskell. Oh, you boys have fun. Sean seems to be just getting started. <sighs> Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, then. What the hell? Is someone vom- oh, she's vomiting. Did you hear that? She just barfed back here. Ugh. <laughs> Cody Carl says, well, he's not a GTA 5 character who will get woozy after one or two sips. That's very true. <clears throat> Alright, I think it's starting to wind down now. People are starting to get tired or drunk. Wandering around. Good. You been Ooh. on the run again? <clears throat> Mind if I sit a minute? <clears throat> oh, my lord above. <clears throat> I am not made for land. <laughs> it's too many. Too many angles. Yeah, me? I like a flat horizon. Wide and clear, little waves taking me south to paradise. Not a vicious blizzard, thick mud, railways, filthy towns, and any other hells we've encountered. Black water! <laughs> Never was a place true named, huh? Huh? <laughs> I like blue water. Mm hmm. Black water? You can keep that. <laughs> Blue water. Fire water. Salt water. Black water's for fools. Oh my god. Yep. It's just unnatural. All this land. Ain't natural at all. Baby Man Gaming just cheered and said, In the morning when you wake up, do you go outside and roll up a fat one to smoke later, or do you prefer rolling the blunt than smoking and then give it to your refresher all after a long day of streaming? <laughs> well, here's what I do. I, I, I roll blunts, I smoke them, the time and then I roll more blunts, I smoke them, and I smoke the blunts while I roll them. And then after I wake up, I smoke, and then during the day I smoke, and then at night I smoke. I just constantly fucking blunting, blunting and smoking and smoking and rolling. Many, many years what the fuck? I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> what the fuck uh, is going on? Lord, it was wild. 
I'm going to sleep. I can't take this anymore. I can't take it. I'm gonna go roll a blunt right now and smoke it here in my tank. See, I'm gonna roll and smoke. Sleep till the morning. Sleep off the rolling and smoking. Do I vote in the midterms? Ask LaFerrit. I'll keep my political stuff to myself. I'm not gonna talk about that on stream. It's not a politics stream. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, but wait, let me roll blunt and smoke it. First thing, before I do anything, I gotta do it so I can function. I gotta smoke. Roll and smoke. Good morning, Arthur. <clears throat> Alright, let's contribute to the camp after I smoke my blunt. What the hell is going on, man? What is going on? <laughs> Five rings to give. Okay, guess what? I now have enough to upgrade, finally. Wow, look at all that money that they gave. These fucking deadbeats don't do shit for the camp. Alright, here we go. Dutch wants something comfier. It just appears out of thin air. How things? I've had better days. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, there it is. Look. Upgrade Arthur's Lodging unlocks the fast travel map, allowing you to quickly travel to previously discovered locations and unlocks grooming supply. So I have to save $325, right? Damn. Alright, and I just resupplied the ammo because I'm going to go fill up. I need 325 bucks. Right now, Baby Man Gaming, you're limited to Arthur when you're playing. You can't pick anybody else. Maybe later you do play someone else. I don't know. Ugh, why did I drink all that? Oh, what is this? Target practice? Look. There's a side mission over here. Yeah, go hunt. Oh, you go hunting with Charles. Maybe we should do that. Hold on. I'm going to restock my oh, ammo. Oh, there you are. Sure. It was here. He had it all the time. Huh? Why can't... What the hell? That was weird. It wasn't working properly. It wasn't showing up. I had to walk away and turn around and come back. Now it's back. Let me stock on all my ammo here. There we go. I don't need any more repeater. Mr. Morgan, whatever did happen with that Mary Gillis? Uh, it all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. As usual. Mm, that's for the best. Sure. Of course. <laughs> I never did like her very much. Murdoch cheered and says, Oh, don't worry. Leave it to your gangmates. They will have to cash in about 10 to 12 years. <laughs> yeah, at the rate they're fucking going. They're slow as shit, man. But anyway, thank you, Murdoch, for the cheer. You're now tied for top cheer of the day. Did you go hunting with Charles? What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? I'm going to learn how to hunt a bison. That sounds good. Mount up, then. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think... Dude, this is my horse. My buttercup is missing completely. I don't know where the fuck buttercup is. I might have to go to a stable to get buttercup back. Oh, this stinks. Oh, what happened? You know, now, there's no explanation because buttercup didn't get hurt or nothing. Horse, my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. When the bison went, my people went. When they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. Provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. 
Huh? Well, I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. Cody Carl shoes it before you go hunting. Be sure to roll the blunt. Oh, okay. Let me get right on that. Let me roll the blunt. <laughs> 